Roycey Unchained, presented by Josh Arnold, investment consultant, Mr. Money Talk. So uh, yesterday, it was, it was a marathon practice. Judd and I were out there taking copious Judd's camp notes and Phil's <laughs> seasoning on top of Judd's camp notes. Oh, wow. But they, the one thing they have not done yet, that at least we haven't seen, they have not, they've done punting drills. They've done everything you can imagine. They've not done a kickoff drill practice. or anything in front of people that are watching. And which you think they're going to have to practice a lot because nobody knows what the hell's going on on the kickoff. So, uh, John, you said you asked them Saturday, and they pretty much confessed that they uh, were not going to uh, tell. Let us see what their plans are, huh? Uh, no, O'Connell. I I said you you guys seem to be not practicing this on purpose in front of us. And O'Connell's like, well, I'm really curious to see what happens, but he never fessed up to. Okay. Yeah, but but this goes back to Pat in, in the off season you know otas and stuff they never did anything and they always allowed us in a little bit late mm -hmm. so i think what they're doing is during that period like the walkthrough i think they're doing this stuff then so that we don't so so like week one i think it's going to be an unknown no one's going to know what the hell their opponents are going to do on so, and in the exhibition games they're not they're going to they're just going to do some routine stuff too, huh? You know, you, you think they're going to keep, keep it vanilla in the, in yes. the, uh... so I don't get, what are we doing here? We, we can't run. We can't run to cover it until the ball is caught. Is that it? Correct. What? Cause you're, cause yeah. you're, you're lined up. It's like an offensive play. Basically you're, you're, yes. you're lined up sort of next to each other offensive and defensive lines so the and, ball gets and, kicked and, from way back the, over the guy, everyone's heads the guy's kicking from 20 yards behind you or something right so like 40 35. yards th yeah so he's, he's so where are you lined up the 35 the, 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 even, we're, even we're like I don't you know. were lined up <laughs> th this gets super confusing but the kicker is still where the kicker's always been yes the the team that is going to have to cover the kick is at, I believe the 40 or thir 35, the but they're on the side. other side of the field. Yeah. So they don't have to run. So the high speed collisions should be curtailed, but this is incredibly confusing because it's either the ball hits the ground, the ball uh, is caught by a player and then guys can take off. And the star tribune story today went so far as to discuss, would you ever have, a normal player who has a good leg kick off because as a last line of defense, that guy then could make tackles. Mm -hmm. Well, I, okay. And we get, we're not going to get answers to those questions. For that, <laughs> no, coach. They're not, no. Gonna, not when well, he has to do it in secret, but this is all because they're going to prevent three concussions a year. Is that why we're doing this? Uh, and I also, think it, but, I think it's part of that, but it also, they think it's going to be more exciting this way because it will, it will reduce concussions, but it will increase the amount of action. Uh, okay. And, uh, wow. I, I, you know, I, I and the other thing is, uh, we, we can tell them we want to have an onside kick, right? But yes, we have, of course, have to tell them it's an onside kick, which takes away. Kind of and a, it can uh, only happen in the fourth quarter if you're trailing. That's the only time you can do it. Yeah. What, if you, so want, you, what you want to do it the whole, you, you can't, so there's no, I'm going to start the game with a surprise onside kick, which can't no. be a surprise then. So Correct. No, you All can't. Right. And All once right. you commit, you can't then like bomb it down the field, right? You're committed to the onside kick and they know yeah, that it's so. coming, right? Listen, you Formation. morons. Listen, you morons. It's football. They have huge men running very fast, colliding with each other, and they know when they're playing this game and collecting their checks at 58 years old, they won't know what planet they're on, okay? <laughs> that They know this going in to get the money. So just let them go out and bash their heads in. What the hell is going on here, for God's sakes? I don't know. It so is going to be is fascinating, it, though, because you to your point, come to high school, then you think we're going to? No, I guess not. It doesn't have to because they don't have anybody kicking it's it. It's too confusing for high school. Yeah, you, know? you yeah, try to explain it to a fifteen-year-old. It's hard yeah, enough to explain plus, it to a twenty-two-year-old NFL player. Plus, eighty percent of the high school games you go to, the kickoff guy kicks it 
to the 25 and it's bouncing around on the ground and somebody mm -hmm. falls on it right so i mean yeah. it's not like it's not like they're booming it down to the five yard line and everybody can build up a big head of steam to crash into each other so but the one thing that that, that i like and i think at the end of the day you will too this is a recipe for chaos oh yeah yeah like maybe. it's gonna cause chaos okay at, at yeah. least for a while because no one's gonna sure. know what the hell's going on and you know so we gotta move it, it, how many penalties are gonna be called because somebody moved two yards before the guy caught the ball you know you, you might what are we gonna do then is it just gonna be the penalty or do we kick it off again or what do we do you know, yeah, good, all good questions. Yeah, because everybody's going to try to cheat, right? For goodness sakes. Yeah. The, the other question is like, what what's the strategy for the return? Is it a running back? Is it a fast, just a fast straight line runner? Are you running reverses? Are you going to be running like zone blocking? Because you're <laughs> you basically have an offensive line up there, and also. Which players do you put on that line? Is it offensive linemen because it's close quarters? Or is it agile linebacker types? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I would think you're not going to have big palookas up there now. You're going to have more <laughs> athletes, right, who can block. Yeah. I, I don't. How would I? I mean, it's uh, – it's. I know that I'm going to be – the first five weeks I'm watching, I'm going to say, okay, what the hell is going on here, you know? <laughs> Bring back Devin Hester for God's sakes! I, uh, you know, wedges. Bring back those wedges. Four fat wedge. guys that yes. eliminated you. Yeah, it's uh, it is, uh, but it's something to talk about, and that's what the NFL loves. The good thing is, I think the Vikings now have twenty nine coaches, right? So they can take six or seven of them and work on this full time, right? They can yeah. So are they? Are they? I'm assuming before media and fans can get there, like in the mornings, are they doing walkthroughs? Yeah. Do you think Judd? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that they because we, the only time I think one practice I saw that they were uh, practicing catching kickoffs from the jugs machine, but there were no like formations, like you couldn't are see. Are they? Anything, so. uh, and when? And when can they start closing practices then? I think it's after the second preseason. I think it's after the after Cleveland the second, game. After the second uh, exhibition game. Huh? Yeah, okay. I think that's when. Do we? Do our lucky fans get to pay for two exhibitions this year, or only one? Just one. one. Really? Wow. Well, what? Are there only two this year? There's three. Two there road, three? two road games, and a, and a home game. Yeah. Okay. No joint practice at home, though. The only joint practice is in Cleveland, I think. So mm -hmm. this year we have an extra home game, then, right? Except. It's and in then Except we're going to London. Yeah. We're going to London. The official team of the London uh, football fans. Uh, the Vikings have been over there more than anybody, haven't they? Oh, the the, ja I think Jaguars are still number one. Yeah, because they, like, they're they trying they to manifest something there. In. Yeah, I see Jacksonville is going to spend like hundreds of millions for a new stadium, but they, uh, they, they can no longer... You know, they can only go to London two out of five years or something when they build mm. a new stadium, something like that. So. Still in Jacksonville, though. Can't change that. They uh, used to be city. called the Pittsburgh of the South. I, yeah, it's, uh, I've been there for <laughs> the one time. Well, I've been there for a couple of Viking games, but I was there for the Gator Bowl when they had the Iowa fans there playing Florida. The place was jam-packed and the toilets were frozen. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you got 50,000 Iowans there, and you can't go to the toilet. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. No. Just go out back. That's not, mm -hmm. no problem for them. That's a long time ago that John Alt was the left tackle for oh, wow. the, uh, for the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes and uh, trying to guard, or uh, maybe the right tackle, but he was trying to block Wilbur Marshall, and that did not go well. Yeah. Wilbur was, hey, uh, whatever happened to that famous couple that uh... – Made their match in a Metrodome bathroom. An Iowa fan. Pioneer Remember that? Oh. Went and found them. Are they together Did still? Did they find them? No, no, no. She went. I, I think the husband went a divorce. Her. I think she was married to some other guy. Wasn't she was. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, they got, was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She the the Pioneer Press about eight years ago went and knocked on her door. I believe the door was slammed in their face, but they did go knock on the door. Now That's that awesome. Is, that is gutsy. I wonder who 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 was it? Who, was it Brian Murphy? You? Yeah, it I don't like think it Murph was, but do. it could have been. Murph would have done that. Murph would have done that. Murph would have done that. Pat, we could use your your twins' enthusiasm here. Uh, the, 
The Twins picked a bad week to irritate fans at the trade deadline because we're sitting here trying to raise money for a great cause, the Power of Sports. It's the second annual uh, Power of Sports auction benefiting the Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute. And by the way, we have raised $7,500 so far this week, and our goal is 15000 so thank you. We're, we're on our way. But we have 20 available executive balcony tickets to hang out with at least us. Maybe we can coax you into joining us on Wednesday, September 11th. Twins Angels, we're throwing a Scorn North Twin Show party on the executive balcony. Tickets are $99. They're buy it now at scornorth.com slash auction. Let's go, people. Let's, uh, what are we, uh, the, the dauber? We got the dauber. What are people upset about? You did the all new dauber with the mustard with the beard. He came in and <laughs> ate him up yesterday. Got out of the inning with an 88, 150 mile an hour ground ball, the shortstop. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, what, are we, uh, what are we whining about? No, I, I really do want to know what trade did they think? What trade are they mad about that wasn't made? What trade did they to think me, was going to be made? To me, it's more of a, it's like an eight-year discussion. Eight years of Falvey, six times in contention at the trade deadline, and they've really only been aggressive once. Which so it's, probably, kind of, it's, yeah. it's it's their philosophy that they don't like to be aggressive at the trade deadline. Was it, were they aggressive with uh, Mally, right? Weren't they? And it aggressive? didn't work, yeah. yeah it didn't, we got four <laughs> starts out of him for about $30 million. That, was, that worked Jorge great. Lopez, too, I think, yeah. was part of that deal. Yeah, Jorge Lopez, who I loved, by the way. I, that was, <laughs> I was wrong about that one. I didn't know he was mentally ill. I just knew that he, I thought I liked his uh, stuff. But uh, yeah. there was something going on between the ears that wasn't too good. So anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I know people are upset about not making a trade, but I, I keep saying on Twitter, what trade did you want? What do you want to do? Do you want to give away three prospects for Jack Flaherty? Three, three good prospects for Jack Flaherty for two months? I don't think so. I, so I you're good. You're good with them. Just, I think they're, Dan well, Hayes has a nugget that the couple guys in the clubhouse anonymously are not thrilled about this. I would have traded today. for a guy on Carlos's list, but that's just me. Uh, Car- Carlos Correa's list. Correa had an entire list he you know, shared. He like submitted a list. I would have probably said, Carlos, how can we make you happy? We've been a pretty good team. I would have, I would have said, uh, you know what I'd like to see on Carlos's list? Plain. Getting back in the lineup, that's what I'd like to see on Carlos's list. Oh. No, I mean, I don't, you know, it would have been nice to get a starter, but they did get a reliever, and I I just, I don't know. I don't want to give up, you know, Walker Jenkins for clarity, for God's sake. So, yeah, uh, and they kind of made it, I mean, apparently, according to reports, that's what the Tigers were asking the Twins for, was like Walker Jenkins or Brooks Lee for two months of clarity, which... Yeah. I I'm skeptical that. of that, but yes, yeah, I you know plus what? So what? If they get to the playoffs, so what? You think they're gonna win? They're not gonna win. This team's not gonna win for God's sake. Who's gonna get them? You know they're gonna maybe get out of the first round like they did last year. It's not. It's not. We got this feeling they're on the cut. By the way, Royce looks awful. As uh, coming back, this last time he came back, he was killing it. Right now, he's way behind. And did you see him yesterday? He ended up limping off on a swing, turned his ankle. Oh, he did yesterday? Yeah, yeah, turned his ankle. I thought he was done again. Ooh. I think Rocco was out there trying to talk him into leaving the lineup, but he didn't. And uh, I think mm. he would have been too embarrassed. But I don't know. It's uh, they're, I guess. I guess my thing is they're better than I thought they were. So I, I but I don't think they're a contender. I, I don't, you know, I think they're, you know, the odds are probably against them making the playoffs. They might make them, but I don't, I don't see a, I don't see a big future here. I don't see them being at home for a playoff series. Do you? No. No. I mean, so they'd, they'd, have, they'd, they'd have, have to catch, catch the Guardians, or they'd have to be the number one wild card, right? right? Mm-hmm. No, which I they, which think the Yankees are right now. Now, I think you should have those seats for Friday night to come and see the Mighty Whiteys. Now, that is a show. That's, you know, this is a show. This you going? Is... Oh, I got to be there, yeah. I'm you got to talk to Shifrin, your favorite announcer. Yes, I'm going to go see Stoney for sure. 
I've been trying to get a hold of Ozzy for two days. He won't call me back. I got his. I he didn't. I didn't get his phone number. I only got a message to him. Hmm. I want to. I want to talk to Ozzy about this. The world's greatest. Uh, the world's greatest post game show and uh, everything else. I mean, Ozzy. What a year for Ozzy. He coached. He managed Venezuela to the uh, Caribbean Series Championship this year. First time in years. And if you guys watched any of that in. In the end of February, it's unbelievable. A Miami ballpark, they had like 45,000 people in there going insane. So Ozzy's, uh, you know, I, I, you know the, the little piranhas and the whole deal. I'm trying to get all of him, but I don't think it's going to work. So They don't travel that show on the road, do they? Oh, I'm God, guessing? no. No, okay. no I, think they're, I think they're just hoping nobody watches it. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it 17 now or 16? 16 or 17? What is Let's 17? see here. Let's see. 17, here. isn't it? So, yeah, they lost again oh, the last night. Blues. White Sox. They have not won since the All-Star uh, It's 17. It's 17 consecutive losses. They've been outscored by 229 runs in 110 games so far. I just looked up their transactions <laughs> for the last part of uh, July, and they they got rid of about six or seven veterans. They got 25 new players in there, you know, that are, they're, you know, for the farm system and stuff, but they didn't. So get there, there's, there's two months to go in the season. Do you see how many games back of first place they are? Uh, no. How, what? 30, 31, 30, 40, 40. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, I, I was, I was writing about Leland after the hall of fame and that team, you know, they win the uh, World Series with the Marlins in 97. And then, and you know, they beat Atlanta in the NC, NLCS in an upset. And then they beat that great Cleveland team. And then the guy gets rid of everybody. Do you know that the next year they finished 52 games behind Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> they beat him in a playoff series one year. The next year they played he's 52 games behind them. Man. He was in a bad mood that year. I went over to Milwaukee and saw him. He was not happy. Still the, smoking, smoking even Mar Marlboro Reds. <laughs> Patrick, the the sixty two Mets were actually ahead of oh, where yes. the White Sox are through one hundred and eight games now. Yes, I did it the other. They were twenty nine and uh, seventy nine. Seven nine. Yes, at this point. And the Whiteys were 27 and 81, and then they've lost two more since then. You got to go they're, for the they're, record. They're three more. They're 27 and 84 now. Wow. You got to get the record. You got to go for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, chances air. like this do not come about very often. Yeah. I was watching Baltimore the other night, and they Gunnar Henderson must have left the game. They had Eloy playing shortstop. What? 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 Eloy was at shortstop. Or they had some goofy defensive shift or something. And he didn't but get they hurt. hit a ground ball to Eloy at shortstop. That's how you tank it. it. Just put random yeah. outfielders and de designated hitters well, at but, shortstop. But this was with the Orioles. Somebody must have been hurt. But they called oh. up Holiday yesterday. They saw he had a home run. So they, home run? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Great. And then Great. Westberg yeah. broke his hand. That's so, what it was. Oh, yeah. so, uh, so he's going to be playing every day. Jackson will wow. be likely. Yeah. Instead of getting scooble. So anyway. What... Uh, what are we uh, otherwise worried about here? I, I agree with you, Judd. The uh, the uh, newspaper has announced to the world, uh, to all of us who work there, that nobody reads our soccer stories, and we can't get enough soccer on the paper. What the hell's going on? I bought the paper Looney today, and there's a front page Big Loon story, story about story Sinclair back, who, Sinclair. by the way, went and played for his country again. And And oh, guess what? The loons went in the tank without him, and now he's back, and they're playing great again. Yeah. Another reason why I, for one, stop. I stopped reading the newspaper when I saw so much go for football negativity from one of their colleagues. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, is that when you quit? That is true. That is true. The uh, gopher hole going after you. I'm shocked by that. I am shocked that they're going after God, me, that was and, great. Uh, and they, uh, you know, they point out that uh, that we didn't send anybody in Paris because. Uh, they wanted me to write a fleck column, which I don't think those two were related. <laughs> Did you have that option? You could have spent 10 days in Paris, yeah, or you could have just gone and I written a hit to, piece on P.J. Fleck. Yes, yeah, so I uh, did. <laughs> but, you know, I will say they are the ones that have, are having a discussion about P.J. gaining weight. 
because PJ has kind of got the fat face going for him right now. Oh. You know what I'm does he have a no. Does he have a belly? He's picture. always had these like I, you know pretty flat know. physique there. I yeah. don't know, but that is one issue that I am not going to go to after PJ on being overweight. I'm not going <laughs> to get. I'm going to check it out right now. I guess, I guess we'll be able fat. to see it, huh? I'm yeah, going to find out. Oh, he kind of is. Oh, hold there's on a, a second. There's a video from Media Day. He does yeah. look a little thicker. That's usually filling yes. out a little medium suit coat, I think, well, over in know, there, too, if I'm being honest. One of the things he was so depressed about last <laughs> season, he didn't run as hard down the sideline when they changed the position. So he, he, he wasn't doing as many laps because he was so depressed about how rotten they were. I he, looks he looks healthy to me. He looks oh, healthy. Oh, he's healthy. That's oh, I'm sure he's healthy. What the hell? He's very healthy. It's. I'm just saying I'm innocent on this column because <laughs> he was trolling me at the. He was trolling me in Indianapolis. He was trolling me, wow. to, talking about the glory of beating Bowling Green and you know I wasn't going to do anything. I wasn't going to mention it <laughs> that they started, but he was trolling me, saying, uh, you know, nobody's gone to bowl games like me. I, you know, I get to, and we won five in a row and we beat Bowling Green and people, how can people be complaining? Cause we won a bowl game. So yeah, he does, he has he rabbit has ears case. when it comes to, you know, people complaining about things. college coaches mm -hmm. do kill mm -hmm. was the same way, man. He heard everything. Oh, he was, uh, Jerry was very sensitive. Well, Chris Long, cause I can't coach then. Yeah, that, yeah, that was after the uh, what, Freeze my four, asshole. fourteen to seven win over a really Kent State or something. Yeah, like and that, Chris right? Long, the nicest guy in the world, asked a very simple, like you know, hey, he was, what yeah, about oh, he was he was pouty coach. that day. He was pouty that day too. I went, I took him apart on that too, and we ended up being <laughs> okay. We're okay. You guys are like, we're, still I know he quit again though. He left. He got a tattoo at Michigan State at New Mexico State. He got a big tattoo. Got a new girlfriend, and then he left. Yeah. He quit. I don't know. He didn't have any seizures last year either, I don't think. So I think he knew it was a miracle that New Mexico State won some football games and he didn't want to uh, go, go, go out on top at yes. New Mexico State. Yes, so. that's right. All right. Well, it's Pat. It's raining again. What the hell is wrong? Bring with back you? drought. I love drought, man. Drought is great. You know? it, it took me, Pat, yesterday from SLP, pretty close to Judd's house. It took me an hour and 30 minutes to get home to Woodbury because of that downpour and traffic. Oh, yeah. 90 oh, yeah. minutes. Something's going on in 100, too. They're, they're, I was on oh. 62. 100 going north is intolerable right now. But being pelted by hail. Yeah, like, I was... That was awful. Although I did see a few folks who, like, pulled to, to the side. Oh, and I said, yeah. I'm plowing through. Yep. I'm plowing yes, through the going. water. I'm going I right through. I love the jackasses that pull over under underpasses. And yeah, that's what I saw. Up. It's rain. Drive. Drive. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> yes. Figure it Come out. On. Yes. God. For God's sake. Sissies. All right, gentlemen. Let's All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow, that's Pat. It. I'm, I'm going to spend the whole day trying to figure out, reading the kickoff rules and trying to figure this out because my brain does not register, you know. You can explain to them to us a, tomorrow. Let's do that tomorrow. You can explain what the a, rules are. I used to be on the kickoff team at Fulda. That was the only thing they let me do. But, God, you only had to run about 20 yards. <laughs> to get into the, the guy didn't kick it past the 35. So, uh, it was, you know, that wasn't much exercise. But, you know, I, I, I don't get this. Uh, but it'll be. Is any long, other league do this? Is it, or do they this? Yeah, exactly? they stole it from the XFL. Oh, okay. A couple but then of they years tweaked ago. it and made it more confusing because the NFL had to change it around. Yeah. Okay. Typical. All right. Can't wait. When do we finally play? A week from Saturday. A week from Saturday. A week next from week. Yeah. Friday. Well, tonight's tonight's the first preseason game. Yes, I saw that. Post Bears and Texans on it. Unbelievable. Yeah. No Caleb Williams, but you're going to see uh, a lot of random football players out I there tonight. That. That's right. Hey, tonight. One last thing. One last thing. I saw a video. Somebody sent video of Caleb crying in his mother's arms after he lost a football game. Yeah, last fall. Yeah. Last fall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want him on my team. All right. See you later. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> right, Pat. See you, Pat. <laughs> oh, man. Royce Unchained here on Scornorth. I love how he just discovered that Caleb Williams <laughs> clip, too. <laughs>